Hi everybody and welcome to Freedom to Paint with me, Ronnie Falco. I'm gonna go over some basic techniques on how to make a portrait, self-portrait at nighttime. I'm gonna start off with my easel, or I'm sorry, this is my palette where I can store my paint. I've actually pre-gessoed the canvas so we can get started right away. So we've got a starry night here. One quick tip, you have a landscape orientation or a portrait orientation. My little paint box only allows me to do landscape, so I'm gonna to paint to the side, so. I'm only going to use fan brushes. This is what's called a fan brush. Um, I also want to let you know that I have Bob Ross landscape oil colors, but I can't use them because I'm doing a portrait. So that didn't really matter. And here we go. Let's get started. I like to just go ahead and get right in with the skin tone. So we've got skin, teeth, eyes, and hair. And I've got a lot of hair, so I've got to save some time. So I'm going to get in here with the skin, and I'm going to leave a little hole for the nose because if I run out of time, I don't really need the nose because I have a very small nose. So let's just rough it in here. And I, right here, this is the cheekbones because I have really high cheekbones. I'm going to put this in the old style container and let it submerse for a while. And then I'm just going to hop right in to the beard hair because that's one of the most important parts. So just really get in here and get the beard going. Okay, and we can, work, we can clean it up later if there's time. And also you might want to do some texture. I have kind of wavy, curly beard hair. And I have some props here with me because the television company wouldn't come to my studio, so I brought my studio to the television company. All right, moving on, I'm going to use some white paint and I'm going to get in here and make my eyeballs. And some problems here, a little Thanksgiving pilgrim. And then you come in with the pupils. All right, now I wanna go ahead and start on the trucker hat. So um, I have another fan brush. Again, I'm only using fan brushes. You don't really need any other types of brush. And I'll come in with the trucker hat on top and the three-dimensional brim of the trucker hat. Now I want to make sure I've got a double eagle going. I've got an eagle on the shirt, eagle on the hat. So I want to go ahead and get this eagle. And you can, you can use the tube of paint as a painting implement. And then I want to get in here and I want to put the eyeball of the eagle. And I can also go in with another fan brush and kind of finesse the eyeball a little bit to give it a little more shape. And I didn't bring yellow for the beak, so I'm just gonna improvise and do, anytime you do this kind of um, scratching, it shows movement, because the eagle's always moving, because it, there's a lot of people hunting it. Okay, um, I've still got one clean end of the fan brush, so I'm gonna get in here and get my mouth going. <laughs> All right, I'm always smiling, because we're having a good time. And I'm going to put this back in the water to soak a bit. And then I want to get in with the teeth. And it's okay if some gray or brown mixes in with the teeth because I, you know, I have brown teeth. It's fine. And okay. Now I saved a little more time so I can work on the beard. And I want to bring in some streaks of hair and texture and kind of really build it out. Your painting doesn't have to be this realistic. It's fine. You can have fun with it. And let's make the beard bigger. We have time. Always time for a bigger beard. I'll bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to pick a clean brush. That's clean. And I'll get back in with the pink and go for the ears. The ears are one of the least important body parts, so I'm saving that. I'll save that for a little later. And now that I've got the ears, I want to grab another clean brush and come back in and bring some long wavy hair over it. Oops, I actually got into the black there. Okay, also I brought some more glitter. I actually ended up not even needing this, so 
we can come in and we can put some more stars and the stars will be coming kind of like across my face. So like that, that'll dry down. Also, I'm using acrylic paint. So acrylic, um, people are like, hey, Ronnie, um, oil paint is better because it doesn't dry, whereas acrylic, you have to work really fast. No, you don't, because you can mist it. I can work on this for hours. I can just keep working into it hour after hour. I've got a Bob Ross palette knife here, and I can just keep coming in, putting a little more texture in. One more thing, can we get a close up on this um, hand whittled cockroach and bug? All right, that is the portrait. If there's time, I'm gonna turn it around really quickly. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I wanna thank everybody uh, who participated in the show. It was awesome. Um, and thanks and have a good night.